All right, so today we have the TOP60 laser out of a Thompson TGM600 drive uh, for the original Xbox. So what we're going to start off by doing, obviously, um, we got to remove the laser here. It's a little bit more difficult than the PS2 lasers, which is why I'm, um, why I'm filming the removal of it. Uh, it's not really difficult, but this gear here, um, it's gear driven. Um, it'll give you a little bit of trouble occasionally, so I'm just going to show you what needs done. So first off, take out that screw, and it appears somebody's already been into this Xbox because that screw is a little loose. And this one's a little stripped, it looks like, so hopefully we can get that off of there. Yeah, there's absolutely no getting a hold of that. So, I think we should be able to just slide it out. Yep, there we go. And there's our laser. So, give me one second here. Now what I like to do with uh, with these lasers, I don't know how well you can see it. Let me stand up here. Oops. It's not really adjusting right or focusing right. Anyways, there is some um, glue here on the pot. So what you will have to go ahead and do, and I'm going to grab a little clamp here. What I like to use, goof off works really, really, really good. Really good. And you know what? Huh, this battery is about to die too. That's what's up. Man, these batteries don't last very long in this camera for some reason. Alright, so, just dab a little bit on a Q tip there. and just dab it on the pot. Only reason I, uh, I say to dab it is because that glue, we're not gonna sit there and pick it out. Um, I mean, you can if you have, uh, let's see, where'd that go? Oh, there we go. So I got this little cleaning kit from Radio Shack. It's got two spiked ends. I could dig it out if I wanted to, but with this, uh, with this goof off here, it, makes it soft enough to where I can get a screwdriver in there, so. And again, we will need a meter. <laughs> All right, so now while that is soaking, we can test it. It's kind of a pain to get to on this one. It's in between the gear drive. What are we at here? 4.7. And now I use I like to use a little bit of a smaller flathead for these lasers just because uh, with the goo in there and it's turning that was really easy see what I'm saying guys Oh, 
Oh, looks like I was going the wrong way there. That's what's up. Let's see what the hell. It went to five and then it went to six. <laughs> like, man, is my multimeter or my ohm? Well, it is a multimeter reading ohms right now. Is it playing tricks on me? All right, so that's about back down to where we had it. Oops. Bam! 3.7, I'll take it. All right, so that's basically it besides getting her back in now. When it comes to getting it back in, you get that one guide rail back and you just kind of put it in an angle so it slides under and catches that gear. Lock that back in place. Get our other guide rail. Now for you guys it'll be a little easier to get it back in there because uh, hopefully yours wasn't stripped. But it's really not too difficult. Alright, so that is basically it now besides putting screws back in, if you want to uh, slide it back, oops, let me get that guide rail in place first. If you slide it back you should be able to hear the gear spinning. So that's it guys, the TOP60 laser on the Thompson TGM 600 drive. The worst drive for an Xbox. But it's still a drive. These damn things are expensive, so hopefully that helps a few of you out. Um, especially you, Billy. I know that you have a uh, uh, quite the stockpile it seems like of dead Xbox drives, so hopefully you're able to fix a few of them. If not, you can always give them to me. <laughs> I will fix them and keep them. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you want to see more content related to this or other game consoles, random tidbits, crap, whatever you want to call it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.